Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user that is a me slapper posted what's the most satisfying act of I don't give a fuck that you have ever witnessed. My cashier in Amsterdam was literally just taking my groceries and sliding them across but not scanning them and then putting them into my bag. She scanned the last thing for like two euro and goes that'll be two euro. She did not give even half of one fuck. Back when I worked at a movie theatre, one of my fellow assistant managers, Jack, had the constant attitude of not giving a fuck. He'd worked at the theatre longer than anyone and was good friends with the general manager, so he got away with murder. One time, this lady wanted a refund for a movie she'd finished watching. She was going crazy, screaming at us about how the movie was so inappropriate to be PG-13 and she couldn't stand all the swearing in the movie. I kept calmly trying to explain to her that since the movie was already over, we couldn't give her a refund. Our policy clearly stated no refunds after 30 minutes into showtime. She's not hearing it and looks to Jack now, like he will give her the answer she wants. He starts saying the same thing I did and she interrupts him again with her yelling about how she couldn't stand all the swearing in the film. Jack rolls his eyes and just says, well, that's just too fucking bad and walks off. Hugh stun looked on my face and the ladies. I was in line at a coffee shop and the lady was complaining that they didn't have organic milk and without a word or hesitation the guy behind the counter just said, next please, not even taking her order. When I worked at a cafe, a woman requested gluten-free bread. I said, we don't have gluten-free bread. Her, what if I wanted gluten-free bread? My co-worker, uh, go somewhere else, I guess. I forgot if she stayed, she was with someone else or left. We had things that were gluten-free like omelettes and salad, but no bread. Working Geek Squad, another agent was really upset that day and had gotten a rough patch of a few clients who were really mean and extremely rude to him. After bearing through them and after about a 10 minute break, he helped another client. Their first words were, all right, Best Buy gave me a shit product that broke after six months and I want you to fix it right now. Which explained that there's a process and you couldn't fix it right now. And the guy cut him off and said, I don't care, get it done. Well. He sat there for a second, quiet, took off his badge, slapped it on the table, yelled, fuck you, then started walking towards the front door with middle fingers pointing up at everyone, then said, and fuck this place, and walked out. When I went home and on Steam I saw he bought GTA 5, he then had 200 hours played in two weeks after that, haven't checked since. My ex-boss had a customer throw her money on the counter when my boss clearly had her hand already out waiting to be given the money. So when my boss went to give the change, she just threw it back. Coins went everywhere, but the look on the lady's face was priceless. I was training a new bartender at this fairly upmarket restaurant to nightclub. She'd previously worked at a dive bar for students. Second night into her training, the two foot long rubber shots mat with the Red Bull logo on it disappeared off the top of the bar. My trainee went around the other side of the bar to look for it, thinking it had fallen off. Next thing I know, she's pulled it out of the back of a dude's pants and slapped it back on the bar. She then grabbed him by the upper arm, spun him around so that he was bent over the bar and spanked him on his bum. I mean, really walloped him while telling him off loudly for being a stupid shithead. And then she returned to the bar and washed her hands to get the stupid off of her. At Costco, this older gentleman was screaming at my boss because apparently all the handicapped parking spots were occupied. My boss asked for his information so he could write a complaint. We had little forms for that, nothing really official, mostly to shut up people. Are you a member? No. Well, that's it then. My boss then put the little form in the garbage can and walked away. The old man was stunned. Some Karen was beefing about a 25 cent off coupon. The coupon was for a 42 ounce bottle of something, but she wanted a 28 ounce bottle. The coupon was rejected when scanned because, duh, there was no product to match it. There was nothing the cashier could do, but Karen just kept demanding 25 cents off. Finally, the guy ahead of me in line marched up to the counter, slapped a quarter down and said, there's your fucking 25 cents off. Now pay your fucking bills so the rest of us can go on with our days. When I was 18, I worked at the local supermarket in an area where crime was just fucking ridiculous. I had a coworker who was a nice guy However, just didn't have a filter, even with customers. We had a group come in once and demand cash, with a knife pulled on him. Now, this had happened before, so we were kind of just over it, 
I knew the weapons were just a threat. I'll never forget the look on his face with something like this. Looks the fucker straight in the eyes for about three seconds and lazily says, Now, first thing in the morning. Stab me, you fucking spoon. Security jumped in real quick and the guy didn't get his cash. And for the two years I worked there, we had a sign displayed out the back with his words on it. Don't know if it's still there. I moved states and it's been seven years since. Imagine this. Summer camp for special needs kids. A counsellor leading a child away by the arm. Counsellor. I'm very disappointed in you, Ellie. Ellie. Shut the fuck up and lose weight, Susan. I went on a trip to Peru and when we were discussing the itinerary for Machu Picchu, the US lady said she had just had knee surgery and wanted to know about the disability accommodations. At Machu Picchu. Disability accommodations. The guide gaped at her for a second and said, if you can see it from the bottom, and moved on. I loved him immediately. In line for security at the airport, this man is freaking out at the TSA agent that one of his wife's shoes got stuck on the conveyor belt, and without missing a beat, the TSA agent responds, you sure she had two? When I delivered pizza, we had this older driver, probably in his 20s, who came back from a delivery and was pretty annoyed. A few minutes later, the store gets a phone call complaining about him. Essentially, what happened was, a regular pie delivered was $11.97, and the person handed him $12 and asked for their change back. He said, OK, went back to his car and got three pennies and looked the woman in the eyes and rolled the pennies between her legs into her house and walked back to his car. Ooh, I had a good one. It was two years ago. I was at a festival with a few friends waiting for my favourite band to play. We went to the stage to listen to the band before them and we were just enjoying the music. Suddenly, a really, really drunk dude tumbles in from the side, stands beside me and just puts his arm around me. I'm a nice guy and was in a really good mood, so I thought, maybe he just wants to see the band too. So I didn't mind too much. After some time, he was getting a little heavy. So I looked to the side and I see a really buff dude. He was like a whole head taller than me, had one of those gym bro tank tops and huge fucking muscles. Absolute unit. So I looked at the guy and asked him, yo, can you help me with this drunk dude? And he's like, yeah, sure. So drunk dude is just standing there being held by two strangers in the middle of a stacked crowd at a festival. Suddenly, drunk dude starts leaning forward. Bad sign. It looked like he was about to throw up. The people in front of us made space. So the buff guy looks at the drunk dude, then looks at me and goes, is the guy your friend? I say, no, nope, never met him. Turns around to my friends, ask them the same question. They shake their heads. He looks a little bit around and then just does the ultimate fucking power move. He just fucking picks the dude up and hands him over to the crowd. I looked at the drunk guy and his eyes were still closed as the crowd made him float to the front of the stage. But I could see him open them in the middle and I still remember the shock on his face. Had to tell the buff guy how amazed I was at how casually he solved the drunk dude problem. Absolute legend. Wait, have we really not included possibly a the best ever answer to this type of prompt? Read and enjoy. This was originally posted by Tupper Wolf. I was once on a US military ship, having breakfast in the wardroom, which is the officer's lounge, when the operations officer, Ops, walks in. This guy was the definition of not a morning person. He's still half asleep, bleary eyed, basically a zombie with a bagel. He sits down across me to eat his bagel and is just barely conscious. My back is to the outboard side of the ship and the morning sun is blazing in one of the portholes putting a big, a bright-ass circle of light right on his barely conscious face. He's squinting and chewing and basically just remembering how to be alive for today. It's painful to watch. But then, Zombie Ops stops chewing, slowly picks up the phone and dials the bridge. In his well-known I'm still totally asleep voice, he says, Hey, it's Ops. Could you shift our bar pack? Yeah, 165, thanks, and puts the phone down, and then he just sits there, squinting, waiting. And then, ever so slowly, I realise that the big blazing spot of sun has begun to slide off the zombie's face and onto the wall behind him. After a moment, it clears his face and he blinks slowly a few times, and the brilliant beauty of what I've just witnessed begins to overwhelm me. By ordering the bridge to adjust the ship's back and forth patrol by about 15 degrees, he's changed our course just enough to reposition the sun off of his face. 
He's literally just redirected thousands of tons of steel and hundreds of people so that he could get the sun out of his eyes while he eats his bagel. I am in awe. He slowly picks up his bagel and for a moment I'm terrified at the thought that his own genius may escape him, that he may never appreciate the epic brilliance of his laziness since he's not going to wake up for another hour. But between his next bites he pauses, looks at me and gives me the faintest sly grin before returning to gnaw slowly on his zombie bagel. What was your favourite don't give a fuck story from this video or from your own experience? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.